quite literally whack it on. <laughs> there you go. Gross history with Sarah Brooks. That's the Harvard one thing though. I remember from Harvard. That's, yeah. that's Harvard. from Harvard, not here. Not here is, is a spunk free place. <laughs> it's all learning and no spunk. Hopefully that'll be the same situation tonight. And it's cheap. It's right in the middle of the city centre. So uh, we don't. We haven't um, had internet yet to check if we've got a cab surfer yet. So we thought might as well just, you know, book in for another night. And then we won't have to be worrying about where we're going to sleep, sleep tonight. So yeah. And now we're in some sort of cafe, getting a, our first full Irish breakfast. We still haven't had one yet, which is scandalous. Only annoying thing is they pay. Uh, you have to pay per item here. So if you want like one sausage, or two sausages, that kind of thing, which is a little bit frustrating because a full Irish, you know, you expect to have the full, you know, every item for a fixed price. But you no, know, oh well. Uh, but we've been past quite a few places and it doesn't seem like the case with most of it. So yeah, my. I'm not too sure what we're doing off today. So far, it's all about getting tea in our in our system because we need some caffeine. And then we're probably going to head off and do a tourist attraction, but we don't know what yet. And I'm going to look up about the Dublin Day Pass card thing, see if it'll be worth it or not. Because if we can do like maybe two attractions a day, it might actually be worth doing it because then it'll be cheaper. I'm not too sure. We shall see. We'll see about timing and price and all that sort of thing and, and what we actually want to do as well because we still don't know exactly what we want to do. We've got a loose idea but we'll see. Anyway, I will update you again in a bit with what on earth we're doing when we decided, when we have internet. Alright, see you later. Bye. Nom nom nom. But, wow, it really helps if I'm looking where I'm going. Just nearly got hit by a car, no big deal. <laughs> Like it's worn away, so he's just got a gold toe on his <laughs> How brilliant! Although it's also a tradition of uh, like when the guys finish, um, or just before they take exams or something, they have to um, <laughs> they put their sperm on the first. <laughs> Apparently, Ew. that's the thing. <laughs> so what, do they whack off whilst mm. they're standing there in front of the statue and they just like whack it on? Or? Who knows? Who knows? Quite literally, whack it on. <laughs> there you go. Gross history with Sarah Brooks. <laughs> That's the Harvard one thing though. I remember from Harvard. That's, yeah, that's, Harvard. that's from Harvard, not here. Here is, is a spunk free place. It's all learning and no spunk. That little sightseeing train. Adult 10 euro again. We um we just attempted to sneak into the <laughs> Trinity Library <laughs> because um, it's on my list of things to do. But we were hoping that the library is free and then not bother with the Book of Cows, which is like you have to pay to see the ex exhibit. Um, but as it turns out, you have to sit, you have to pay to get into the library as well, and it's like ten euros. Um, but the stairs led right up to it with like <laughs> tiny little no entry signs on. You could only come down from it there. So we were like, let's just sneak up. So we literally just like pegged it up there. And then like this really angry man just yelled at us and we were like, okay, we're sorry. We, we didn't know, we didn't know, but it was pretty funny. No. I, I got to see the ceiling and a couple of the stacks, so I'm happy. Look at this, my favorite thing, admission through. Okay, this is it. We're going in. Hmm. 
Well, this stuff kind of makes me sad because it does just mean that they've sort of gone in and massacred an entire family of otters and foxes and badgers and then gone, ta da, look, it's a family of otters. Do you know the band Real Big Fish? Gigantic fish. Yes, I do know Real Big Fish. She has a girlfriend now. <laughs> it looks like he's singing it. and Gretel Bakery and it's got really delicious looking cakes that are really affordable. I got two for four euros for both so that's amazing. Best bakery ever and that looks really good as well. I think um, we're gonna have to come back and buy everything because <laughs> it just looks too tasty. Sarah's umming and airing she doesn't know what she wants. I don't know, they've got that one with jam, they've got that one with chocolate over there as well, so it just depends what you want. To taste, there's the chocolate ones there as well. A little rabbit. Oh, she's going for a cookie. They look so good, don't they? They do. They look healthy. You can kid yourself to think it's healthy. <laughs> and they also have a range of really delicious looking tarts and things. That is the bakery, Hansel and Gretel, and uh, it's delicious. 